What is going on, guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo, and welcome to Life is Strange, Episode 1. Finally, I'm bringing some new gameplay to your eyeballs, a little series that we're starting off here. We get to play as a teen girl who can rewind time like we've always dreamed of, unless you're already a high school girl who can turn back time. Then, maybe you're dreaming of something else. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you want to see more, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Don't Not Entertainment made this. The people who did remember me, so I'm curious to see how they transition to the episodic space. We'll find out right now. Choose wisely, young son. Or young daughter, I guess. Well, I'm a son. The girl in the game is a daughter. Son, daughter. Daughter, son. Moon, son. Uh. That's not the moon. There's always a lighthouse, right, Elizabeth? I feel like either the Bioshock cast is about to pop out or Adam Levine singing Beauty Queen of Only a... You know, that song. Either way, may maybe something terrible is going to appear. I don't know much about this game. All I know is that it's story-driven with choices and a female protagonist. So to me, I was like, dang, this sounds super interesting, especially in a time that is kind of... It's kind of a void for game releases right now. We've got a massive storm, a missing girl, or a missing place, rather. That's a twister. Or it's a hurricane, I guess, over water. Get your weather facts right. Blackwell, 1910? Are we in 1910, or was the Academy founded in 1910? Either way, a little bit weirded out right now. Playing this on Xbox One, but it's available on pretty much everything. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. You know, so I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Class, Why my artists? God, this brings me back. I've been because out of high school for <laughs> gosh, I feel like totally haunted by the what, eyes of those seven sad years now. And it's a long time, but she I still remember what this feels like. Right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. That's a pretty sweet photo. Actually, I like that a lot. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And any one of you could do all that sorts to me. of things to look at here. We can take a selfie? Oh, God. Isn't that too easy? I must indulge. Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people with the... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. Oh, God. <laughs> a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. 
Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, um, um. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Wow, Is rude. there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Mm, Victoria. Process, She's her arch nemesis already. This game gives me a little Alan Wake vibe, obviously because of the lighthouse, and just because the the first American to get a type self portrait. Wonder if we were lucid Robert dreaming Cornelius. or transported to a different dimension, or what was going on at the beginning there. In your textbook. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should up. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> not sure if this is a teacher who's, like, pushing for our best, or if he's just a big... Nasty. Victoria doesn't waste a second Dude. kissing ass. <laughs> she wants that flight out with the teacher. What is this? A tablet. Let's look at it. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Mm. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. How old do you think we are? We gotta be what? 16? 17? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Eh. Uh, with all the speed and power expected from a new green, let the GRLT 64S is packed, blah, 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 for a low, low price of $5,300. You can tell this game is not made in America, thanks to the dollar sign at the end. <laughs> Alright. Etched marks. I also want Take a photo of this. This photographic world is not for everybody. I have my moment in the camera. Rachel Amber... Lovers forever. I only want to share whatever oh. gifts I have with the world. Oh, jeez. She's definitely, definitely <laughs> sucking up. Mr. Jefferson. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Stop. He's not that cute. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I like already how they're, like, getting in the mind of, like, a high schooler. That's pretty cool. We do look a little bit sheepish right now, but we're going to be bold, be brave, and speak our Excuse truth. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Jerk. Gosh. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. I think I think her picture is pretty darn cool. I don't know what you guys think, but I hope we can freaking. This is ridiculous. Yeah. I always get so shy and Do nervous you. around Mr. Jefferson. Should have turned that photo in, Dagnabbit. Who's this? Kate. What up, Kate? Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Mm hmm. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. She looks like she stepped straight out of a coffin. Goodness gracious, those eyes. Looks like right. somebody was already working on this. Cool. Little Photoshop love here. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Is there any way I can, like, nudge Mr. Jefferson and be like, my, my freaking... My picture is sweet. Take a look again, Victoria. Nah. All right, I'm out of here. TV. This is a TV. Man, he even <laughs> has the best plasma HD TV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. What about this bad boy on the photo contest? Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? 
I don't know if I'm good. ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You're good, you're good, you're good. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Well, my photo can't really, uh, doesn't really sort of, it doesn't really picture heroism very much, so maybe we should take another. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry Platt. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. <laughs> Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She took selfies with a giant tiger. <laughs> Pretty clever little intro right there. I like the vibes this is giving off already. I suppose I was lucky enough to never really feel super weird or bullied at school, but I like that this girl has a lot of different emotions and dynamics, and we can kind of get her thoughts on Evan everybody. Doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. And this is like a really cinematic little intro here with uh, the music, and we're still walking. Can we please think about Alyssa? What you think about Alyssa, Evan? I'm just going to stare right at her. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. It's a pretty cool-looking school, and there's a lot of variety in, like, the different colors, the people, the classes. I love that picture of Mom and Dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Mm -mm. Justin. That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Whoa, there. Dana's losing her pants and also her neckline. <laughs> Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. Oh, so we're in like a. Uh... Factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Yeah, just because she's cute doesn't mean she's crazy or catty. Uh, but we are, obviously. Um, I wonder if this is a... It's got to be a boarding school, right? Since she said she's on my floor, Brooke. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Alright. This is Daniel. Don't be mean to Daniel. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. Yeah, jerk. And he's a Vortex Club member. Who's the Vortex Club? Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Yeah, me too. Don't be rude to people. Man, put yourself in their shoes. Think how you would feel. God, I can't stand people like that. It looks like she's been gone for months. Rachel Amber. 19 years old, tattoo on the calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Gone missing. Weird. Let's look at this bulletin board here. Don't need a PC. You missed the poetry jam tryout, and I did not steal that backpack. <laughs> That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Arcadia Bay has been decimated by global warming, it seems like. More missing person poster. Gun-free zone, holy cow. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it's good to have up, I guess. Stop bullying now. Can we go take this poster and break it over Logan's freaking goofball face? Oh my god, these girls must be twins. Look at them! Is that the same girl? Please tell me it's not the same girl. Wait, 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 wait. Is your shirt purple? You have pink shoes. Wait, did the other girl have pink? Okay, the other girl looks like she has black shoes. All right, I want to go to the back of the hall and just see these other, uh, these other girls. I think this is sort of like a really, really, I don't know, maybe I'm goofy, but this, this kind of thing just really appeals to me. Most games don't tread these waters. Young Taylor Swift, what's up? There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. Ugh. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Taylor and Victoria have a slave. That's all sorts of spooky. The science room? Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. What's this poster? I feel like I'm playing Freddy Fish and I'm six years old. Clicking on everything, looking around. Can I, can I look at this poster? This one? That one. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Ugh. I don't like giving blood either, Max. I don't blame you. Alright, the song is on repeat, which tells me we should definitely move our way down the hall. You guys ever played, like, Pajama Sam, Freddy Fish, Putt-Putt? 
like those uh, humongous click your own adventures or whatever they're called. The clicky games, Fatty Bear, they should just call it a sugar Spy machine. Fox, yeah. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar drop out. Ugh, that would be terrible. Twelve ways to stay healthy. Broccoli, moldy bananas, smiles, cereal, walking, chili pepper. I don't know if this sign has it right. I'm a pretty healthy guy and I don't know if those kind of bananas really do. <laughs> Is this the same? Wait. How many of there are you? Maybe it's like a, a, a sextuplet family or something. They've got seven girls that all look the same. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. What is the Vortex Club? Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. I don't know what the heck the Vortex Club does, but it sounds like something for cool people that I'm not really privy to. So we'll dump into the women's bathroom, freshen up a bit, focus our thoughts. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> Illuminati! Oh my god, we're going straight for it. Illuminati. They're everywhere. This poster must drive people to have sex. <laughs> Kate twerks for God. What? I mean, the message of the poster is, like, slightly on point, but in it just has horrible delivery. I would tear it down if I was her. Tampon dispenser. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Ooh. TMI. TMI Max. Graffiti. Rachel Amber. Now, who would bother to write that crap? I don't know. I don't know. Weird. All right, let's turn that faucet on. Scrub a dub dub. One girl in the tub. Nobody else is here. Wub 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 wub. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. No no. Oh God! Come on, man, girl. When Snap that beautiful butterfly. The window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Alright, let's snap this beautiful butterfly. I kind of want to snap the Illuminati eye, but we should probably go for the natural element over on this bucket. Merging the dirty janitorial supplies with the beautiful and lively butterfly. It's perfect composition for Mr. Jefferson, and that is where we'll pick back up when we return. What do you guys think of this game? Let me know in the comments below. I'm actually digging it super much, super far, and I cannot wait to see where it goes. A short little episode one. Um, I think there's five episodes over the course of the coming months, but this is where the story begins, and from here, it supposedly gets more mysterious and more magical, so we'll have to look for that twist uh, in the next coming little bits, I'm guessing. Until that time, though, guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. If you did, until next time, everybody, fantastic day. Be nice to people. Goodness gracious, be nice to people. The world definitely needs a lot more love than it has right now. So spread your wealth in terms of kindness. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, we will see you all later.